Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a little tips and tricks video on how to customize the different sounds in Windows 10. It's quite easy to do. They've really done a good job at placing this in an easy place where it's uh, not too complicated to find. After that you'll have to understand what sound is attached to what type of um, you know thing happening in your Windows operating system basically. So for example if you right click on the um, speaker icon in your computer you'll see something called sounds. Sounds will open the Windows sounds. Now there's default there's no sound. If you wish to have no sound nowhere and no sound to notifications, no sound when uh, basically Windows wants to notify you about something or whatever this you can choose no sound. But there's a default would call Windows default but you can actually change the sounds of the different options in Windows. So to do that is simply for example I want to change the sound to the calendar reminder. Now it gives you the type of sound that's selected and you can click the test to hear what it sounds like but you can also click the little arrow and choose between a lot of different little sounds depending on what you want to do. So you can change that to whatever you want. You can test it. If you like it, you click apply or you can click cancel if you don't want anything changed. So depending on what you want to do, there's a lot of options here from mail to notifications to when you open programs, close programs, errors, questions, uh, all sorts of uh, file explorers, you know, uh, sounds. A lot of them are set at off by the way. So if there's one option in Windows that you wish to have a sound to notify you about, all you have to do is simply, um, you know, click, choose the type of sound and say, here goes, I want to have that. So when there's a program error or crash, it's going to give you a, a sound. Once you've selected, you can click apply and then click OK and you can of course continue like this. Now it says Windows default modified. This is the one we've done or you can actually create your own and click save as and say OK I want to put it with my name Jill Windows sounds and click OK which means now you have an option that was not there of before which is your default sounds that you want. And if you don't like it, you want to go back to what it was, I'll si simply go there, click Windows Default, and click Apply, and everything will come back to normal. Notice that every time you change sounds, so for example, if I change it here, and click, you have a speaker icon that changes color to say, well, you've modified this. And you'll also know because Windows Default will always have modified when you have changed a sound. So you can customize almost any type of sound. You can add sounds where a lot of uh, options are set at none and uh, basically you'll have an uh, audible way of knowing what's happening in your computer if you set it right. So this is basically the easy way to set the different sounds of different options. And one last little thing you also have in sounds, a little check mark that says play Windows startup sound. If you put that check mark, it means when you start Windows, you'll have a startup sound. By default, Windows 10 does not have any sounds. So you can actually say, well, play Windows startup sound so uh, that you'll have it when it actually starts up. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us a thumbs up if you like the videos. If you have any comments, questions, maybe you have a tips and tricks video you'd like to see about the future of Windows, let me know. If you have a problem, if you have any other type of uh, video that you'd like me to do, let me know and I'll try to post that video. Thank you for watching.